Welcome back, everyone, to the fantastic world of Emacs uh, inside Ubuntu today here in Linux. You know, org mode is such a useful tool for all sorts of reasons, uh, but also especially for anyone who has to write any kind of document. And it's a great place to capture your ideas and keep them organized. But today, we're going to see how we can make sure we keep everything clean while we're keeping it organized. All right, so we're here inside a bare installation of Emacs. This is the, the default, what you get. So we don't have any other packages or any uh, of my personal customization interfering with this. So this is what you might have, but, or you might have more customizations that you've added over time. But let's just open up an org document here. I'm gonna use my temp directory. And uh, it looks like I already had a file with that same name. That's okay. Uh, let's let's give this a title. My nice document, and um, pardon the the small size of the text. Um, we want we want to see the whole frame here, so I'm not going to make it too big because we're going to be doing some auto indenting and things. So what you may be familiar with is in org mode, you have you know this is a level one heading, and you can right beneath it. And then you might have your level two. Continue developing ideas. And then level three, let's say level three heading, further nested ideas. And then, you know, you can collapse these at various levels using the tab key. And this is a way where you can brainstorm, get ideas down, and uh, start to organize things you know, the way you want. But at some point, uh, you might be feeling that uh, all of these stars looks a little cluttered, all these, these asterisks. And uh, for some people, that might be a bit of a distraction. So if that describes you, there's something called uh, org indent mode. It is a, a minor mode in Emacs, and uh, what I like is it not only hides the stars, it also will keep your your paragraphs and um, information beneath these headings indented at the, the headline level. So let's turn that on and see what happens. So you just do your Alt X or Meta X and type in org indent mode, and you can tab autocomplete if you want. So this is org indent mode here. And you can see the stars are hidden now, and all of these uh, these paragraphs are nested beneath uh, the the indentation of the heading, wherever that may fall. And uh, there's a few different things we can do here. Um, so, for example, if I now go to this paragraph in the level one heading, and I hit enter, you see it keeps everything indented underneath that level. And of course, it does the same thing. Same thing on the level two, which is what you would expect. Um, but now what happens if we go to the, the edge of the frame? So if you keep typing, go on and on, keep typing, what you expect to happen is you type off of the edge of the frame there, you know, and it keeps going. So um, you may recall, I have a video about different ways you can wrap text in a document, but for this, um, I'm gonna put on first auto fill mode, which is one way of doing it. So now what it, that will do, it will automatically put a, a hard line break at the end of the line there um, at a certain character limit, which you can customize. I believe the default is 70, 70 characters. And so if you keep typing along, and you get to the end, you can see it, uh, it carried it right over. And, um, and that is good because it, can, it will keep everything at the same uh, character limit. So if you looked at this in a, in a different viewer, you'll see everything will be in one column and it'll look nice and neat. Uh, but for one reason or another, you may not want to do hard line wrapping. Uh, one example I always give is, for example, if you convert this to HTML, 
the, the hard line breaks will be retained, which is fine for most HTML, but uh, for example, if you put that into WordPress, it will, it will automatically convert the, the line breaks into actually hard-coded HTML line breaks. Um, maybe that's changed, but that's the way it was last time I was there. So I, if I'm going to be writing anything for WordPress, for example, it's going to go to HTML, I would make sure to use something called visual line mode, which uh, we can demonstrate here. So if we turn off auto fill mode, and then do a visual line mode, uh, and now we can watch as the text will go to the end and wrap around, and uh, we will keep going to further demonstrate with more text. Uh, so I put a little more text to show you. So what happens with, with visual line mode, as I said, there's no hard wrapping lines. So if you extend your frame out, you'll see that the, the hard line breaks here at the top they get truncated there, which is probably not what you want. And if you come down here, you can see the, the visual line mode soft wrapping will wrap with the frame, and that will be, uh, you're basically not committing to any hard line breaks. And you'll notice how it still keeps everything indented. The org indent mode keeps everything indented nicely under the level two there. So that's org indent mode. I like it. I think I, I might start writing longer documents in this format um, and maybe and probably using visual line mode uh, just to not uh, get myself hemmed in with hard line breaks because um, you know if, if you don't want those line breaks. Uh, there is a function that you can find uh, called unfill region. I think it's if you, if you Google that you might find that you can you can remove the hard line breaks with a, with a function if you if you highlight the region uh, but um, but yeah that's that's org indent mode uh, I like it so uh, let me know what you think if this is um, if this is something that you like or if there's another way you like to keep your documents nice and, and uncluttered I think this is a nice visual aesthetic and um, and of course there's uh, there's other ways you can customize the stars with bullets and other things. Uh, but this is a nice default, and I think um, as you continue writing in Emacs, uh, you might want to experiment with different things. But there you go. I'm going to leave it there. Um, if you uh, enjoyed the video, uh, go ahead and uh, give it a like, and I can make more stuff like that. Um, and uh, if you think anybody would get any value out of this, um, by all means, share the video and uh, subscribe if you want to see more. I'm going to get out of here and leave it there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time.